Welcome to Vegas Nation Studio, your best source for Raiders information and updates. I'm Gilbert Manzano. On day two of Raiders training camp, new star running back Marshawn Lynch gave the fans up in Napa a few dazzling runs during 11 on 11 drills. But Lynch did that without pads. Those come out Monday as position battles are expected to heat up. Review Journal reporters Ed Granny and Michael Gelkin break down the roster battles. Ed and Mike, what's the latest? Thanks, Gilbert. Yeah, second day of training camp here in Napa. Michael, uh, it's funny because, as you said before we went on, Derek Carr, sort of good. Mari Cooper, sort of good. Marshawn Lynch, sort of good. But there is a lot of mystery to guys who we even know about for the Raiders and specifically positions that are still up in the air. Yeah, that's probably the biggest takeaway after two days of training camp is just how much is unresolved in terms of those questions that we were asking before training camp began. Who's the number two quarterback? E.J. Manuel's handled all the second team reps so far, but those will be rotating soon. So Connor Cook, soon enough, will be working with the second team. Inside linebacker, still a big question mark. Maybe the starter week one isn't even on this team today, so that won't be answered anytime soon. Number three wide receiver, Cordero Patterson, Seth Roberts, all of that. It's all wide open, and probably the biggest unknown is just how good some of these players are because on Monday, pads come on. Guys who look good in shorts in the spring or just run around without pads in the shorter pads and all that this past two days, how do they look? when the intensity picks up and now they're being weighed down a little bit the contact elevates that's when things get interesting one of the players we do know everything about is wide receiver amari cooper michael he's bigger stronger he's added more weight offensive coordinator todd downing spoke about amari this afternoon yeah i think at route tops you know when you're a little bit more sturdy at route tops and you have that natural hand fighting with dbs it helps you stay a little bit more in balance it certainly helps you come back to the ball and play through the ball stronger uh, those are two areas that I can say I've seen a big difference with Amari. Uh, and, and, you know, holding his route uh, path, you know, as, as you're hand fighting down the field, whether on vertical routes on a go or you're trying to hold your stem on a slant, uh, when you have a little bit more girthy, a little bit more strength, it's harder for the DBs to knock you off course. That's it from day two, Gilbert. Uh, tomorrow, as Michael said, pads are on. It's going to be much different, a lot of hitting, probably a few skirmishes. That also happens when the pads go on. We'll have all our coverage here. Back to you now in the Vegas Nation studios. Thanks for the update, Mike and Ed. Marsha Newhouse was signed to play right offensive tackle. With Donald Penn now reporting to camp, Newhouse has moved over to left tackle. Newhouse was after playing two positions as more of a mental or physical challenge. Uh, it's both. You know, it's physical. You know, you've got your hips and your hands, and the set is different, but it's, it's mental. You're basically flipping on the plays, and um, you have a different feel for, for, Dar for the quarterback. Um, one side's blindside, one side's not. So. Both sides are important. There's good rushes on both sides. But yeah, uh, there's some physical differences and, and a little bit of mental too. That's it for day two. And remember, the pads come out Monday. We'll have full Vegas Nation coverage on ReviewJournal.com.